Hello, Julie. It's December 27th. We're coming up on 2011, so I figured this is a good time to sort of reboot Missing Eyelash Curler again. So I have a couple ideas for this project, and I'm just gonna throw them out during this video. And by throw them out, I don't mean throw them in the garbage, I mean tell them to you. And then you can either call me or make another video to tell me what you think of these ideas. And also, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I like best in Vlogbrothers videos, because Hank did ask for that in his latest Vlogbrothers video, and I kind of, we're modeling this after the Vlogbrothers, yeah? So, what I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. What I want us to do will be kind of what I want the Vlogbrothers to do. Julie, you and I are both very busy people because we have school. I especially have lots of schoolwork, although I do have like less classes than you do, or than you will, um, although I guess you have the same classes. Um, do you? I don't remember how high school works. What happened then? What I think that we should do when we, when you and I restart Missing Eyelash Curler, I can't think. So I got my wisdom teeth out two days before Christmas, right? Totally off topic now. But, um, the pain medication makes me all sleepy. Look at my, look at my stitches. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. So I think that in 2011, what you and I should do, since we don't have very much time on our hands, is that we should make one missing eyelash curler video a week. Instead of you making a video on Saturday, and I making a video on Sunday, or whatever, I'm gonna make this video this week, and then next week, first week of 2011, you make a video. And then I'll make a video the week after that, etc, etc. So we should be coming out with one MEC video every week of 2011. Does that sound good to you? Let me know what you think. So one of my favorite things about Vlogbrothers videos is when Hank and John are really like talking to each other and not just to notify Teria, which is a really great thing about the older Vlogbrothers videos when they had less subscribers and it was really a lot more about the communicating with each other through video. You can especially see this if you go back and watch their original videos about the Evil Baby Orphanage where they're really like having a discussion through a series of videos. And I kind of want you and I to do that, Julie. So what I think we should do is that at the end of each video we make, we should ask each other a question. I'll have a lot of questions for you today because I'm coming up with all of these ideas and I want to know what you think about them. Or in your next video, you'll answer these questions and then you'll ask me questions and then I'll answer those questions and then I'll ask you a question. They don't necessarily, the questions don't necessarily have to be related to what you talked about in the video, but that way it is a lot more like we are communicating with each other and we're not just sharing a video channel because we each have our own channels if we want to make, you know, vlogs, talking about stuff. Another thing that I like about Vlog Feathers videos is when they're like teaching stuff or like, like I loved their teaching week this year when, especially the French Revolution videos. And I really love when they're like, th when it's thinking, when you're thinking about stuff, the whole space pasta problem was awesome. So, Julie, I would like us to kind of talk um, about stuff, not just about stuff that's like going on in our lives, you know. I want to talk about that because I want us to really be communicating through this channel, but I do like want to talk about things that, you know, other people would find interesting and, you know, we can spark discussions. We can figure that out later. Okay, last thing of today. I just want to talk about Christmas because Christmas just happened and my main question for you to answer in your video is what did you get for Christmas? And I know that you got a trumpet so you should show me your trumpet and anything else that you got and I'm gonna show you some cool stuff I got even though I've already shown you on Skype my ukulele Okay, I messed up, whatever my Aunt Mary, who watches Doctor Who, got me these gloves because they're like Amy Pond's gloves. I got, um, 
a Disney cruise in this notebook. Um, my parents pasted the itinerary into the front of the notebook. So my sister discovered it first. She like opens the notebook and there's this pause. And I was opening something else. And then she screams, We're going on Allegiant Sneakers! And so we have this great video of my sister and I freaking out that were like, you should send that to Disney because they make commercials now with like actual people who have sent in videos of, you know, children freaking out because their parents gave them going to Disney as like presents. And we're like, okay, those kids are like, you know, under 12. Disney should definitely make a commercial with a 22 year old and a 16 year old screaming because they are going on a Disney cruise. So I got a few other things. But I'd have to move to show them to you. Anyway, that is all the time we have for I'm gonna go watch an episode of Merlin on Hulu. Goodbye. This is the ending screen of the MEC video, yay! Subscribe.